recording? Oh, it's recording. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> That's awesome. Cannot believe that worked. Okay, I got to show you guys something I think is semi-miraculous. Um, the other day I was flying the Beta 85X HD and I flew like four or five packs and everything worked great and I got a bunch of great HD footage. And then today I uh, was working on it and I plugged it in and all of a sudden I had a yellow screen and it just said Cadex and I don't know if you've heard about that before, but it's called the yellow screen of death because apparently means either you're bored or your camera's dead. And I powered cycled it a whole bunch of times and <clears throat> yellow screen every time. I'll put a picture of it up there, but I didn't do any recording because I was just sad. I took this um, cable off and I switched it around and I tried plugging it in really hard. <sighs> Messed with all these other things. I tried plugging in a different camera and that worked fine. So I knew it was something wrong with the Cadex. Switching the cable didn't do anything. Still had a yellow screen, 2S battery, 3S battery. Nothing changed it. So I was looking online and I found someone in the comments of one of the person that had a yellow screen scene said that they put their camera in the oven and it fixed it. And I wasn't sure if it was like a joke, like people telling people to microwave their iPhones to charge them and that type of stupid stuff. But I figured, hey, the camera's already broken, so why don't I try it? <clears throat> and so, look, I'll show you here. And now, it's working. Amazing. Working again. Tried, I plugged it in a bunch of times and it works just fine. Uh, I guess I haven't stuck a SD card in it to record, but it says no SD, so uh, it works that much. I guess I'll check that before I post this video, but it's pretty amazing. So basically I just wanted to show <coughs> what I did uh, so that if anyone else gets the yellow screen and they can't fix it by just plugging their cable back in or something, maybe um, maybe this will help them too. So basically you just come here and you, you got to pop this cable off. There might be a little bit of glue on it the first time. And then you just pick, take that off. It's not that hard. And then unscrew these. So, once you get the four screws out, you have the sensor board here. And the, the lens here. You leave the lens out of the oven, obviously, that's plastic. And you just take this sensor board, and I put it face down on the sensor on like a rubbery, um, a rubber mat, just like that. Just it was a baking sheet. And I put it in the oven for seven minutes at 180 degrees. And I guess the idea is to help the solder flow better. I don't know. That's what it said online. I'll, call, I'll credit the commenter uh, and find it in the description. Anyway, and then after seven minutes, you just take it out of the oven, plug it, screw it back together and plug it in. And hopefully it'll work for you because it uh, worked for me. So that's pretty amazing. All right, thanks. Bye.